Nada boys, what's going on? This is Yorkie here and welcome back to another episode of the Atletico Madrid career mode. Where as things currently stand, we may be on for a treble this season. The main goal this season is to hopefully try and win the Champions League. That's the main goal and if we do win it, that's going to be the end of this series and we'll move on to the next one. We're currently second in the league where Valencia are top. The biggest shock there is that Cadiz are currently sat in third. Barcelona are in fifth, but where are Real Madrid, you might ask? They're in 11th right now. I, I don't know what's going on there at Madrid, but yeah, they're in 11th. They might need some of the Yorkie magic, but our arch rivals currently sit down there with seven draws so far this season. We did kick off the Champions League last time out, though, with three victories. So with one more, we will be comfortably through to the next round. And I'm hoping that we can get just a little bit more revenge against Inter. But at this stage, that game will count for absolutely nothing. Now, before we get into the games, though, boys, if you are new around here, please smash that subscribe button also hit the like button if you're going to enjoy the video we're going to kick this one off with a couple of quick sims and the first of those quick sims is against elche 3-1 victory antoine griezmann with a hat trick this man is balling we couldn't make it two for two though in the quick sims because after that we draw 1-1 against real sociedad i did rotate the team because we have galatasaray coming up after this one and of course that is the most important game of this episode so far mateus kuna did score a late goal for us though to at least give us a point galatasaray in the home tie then now last time out they weren't so easy to beat. So I'm not expecting this to just be a walkover. But considering the firepower we've got and the form that Antoine Griezmann is on, I'm kind of hoping that we'll score a couple of goals early and then we can rest. Rhea out wide now. This is a lovely ball to Molina. Molina is going to stand that one up. It was nice. It was a good idea, but didn't find the back of the net. That's a lovely ball out wide now to Yannick Carrasco. Yannick Carrasco is just going to try and help that one into Griezmann. He's still going to find himself on it. And Antoine Griezmann does not miss at this moment in time. And he'll make it 1-0 Atletico. He's in supreme form. And even though it takes a deflection and it's the tightest angle on planet Earth, he still finds the back of the net. This might actually be Antoine Griezmann's biggest season so far at Atletico Madrid. Lina out wide now. I'm going to lift that one into Griezmann again. Oh, I tried to knock it over to Correa this time round. Pull that one back. And then loft it in. It's beautiful. Carrasco will make it 2-0. Atletico, my dream comes true. We have two early goals. And that does mean that hopefully early into the second half, we can make some subs. Galatasaray at the start of this second half, looking to get a goal to help get them back into this game. It probably would put them slightly back into it because there is plenty of time left on the clock. This free kick opportunity might just be what they need to get that goal back. It's a good lofted ball in. Good header away from Jimenez, though. Correa has played this one out to Jeremy Pino, who has a ton of pace and a pretty decent pass on him. Jeremy Pino into Yannick Carrasco, who already has one goal in this game, and he's going to have a second. And I'm going to make a whole host of subs now as we are smashing Galatasaray and booking our place in the next round of the Champions League. Jeremy Pino into Martinez. Martinez then back out to Jeremy Pino. Jeremy Pino across to Gonzalo Ramos, who couldn't just quite get his toe to it. Brea out to Jeremy Pino, who has had some issues in front of goal so far, but most likely not this time as Jeremy Pino really caps off this performance. And number seven makes it 4-0. And we whip a ball into Gonzalo Ramos. We can! Oh my god, how has that found the back of the net? It's going to be five for Atleti. This is an unbelievable header from Gonzalo Ramos. See Seeing him come good, the goalkeeper just couldn't scramble to it. With that result, we will sit top of the Champions League group and we are through to the next round. But the crazy thing in this is Stad Rene's beat Inter. So Inter Milan on three points who were at least semi-finalists last time round, might not even make it out of the group. And for Athletic Club next, then in the league, hoping to get ourselves another victory. We're going to play the highlights in this one. We're going to have a solo run to kick off the highlights and it's going to be Correa with the solo run. And Correa with the solo run should make it 1-0. And of course he does. A goal machine, that man is. I wouldn't really want to see any of our strikers clean through, but definitely not Correa. And guess what? Back-to-back -back solo runs, this time for Gonzalo Ramos. If I take this one perfectly, which I have done, Gonzalo Ramos should be making this 2-0. Ramos does make it 2-0. The highlight gods are definitely playing in my favor right now. It's another solo run for Atletico Madrid. And this one could be dangerous as well. I'm going to play that one across to Correa. And Correa then will take it all the way. No, he won't. I'll pull it back. Ramos, surely tap in. That makes it free. We're not even 45 minutes into this one yet, boys. And we've already had three solo runs. Still not a single highlight for our Leddy Club. And we're going to have another one here now. This is ridiculous. Lorente is going to try and play that one over the top to Correa. And Salo Ramos is making a run. Correa is going to look for that run. 
He's actually going to pull it back across. And that's a great save. We finally do get into the second half. And it is our ball. And Lorente playing a beautiful pass to Gonzalo Ramos. Gonzalo Ramos now with pace and power coming forward. It's not going to work out. I'm going to pull it back and then bend it. Ah, oh, it's another great save from Unai Simon. He's having a good time, but we will finally see an Athletic Club highlight. It did not last long. We win the ball back instantly. In the dying moments of the game, they do have this counter-attack here with Akadi. And Jimenez just stops that. And that's going to be a 3-0 victory in the league. No rest for the wicked, though. We take on Barcelona next. Only two points ahead of them. So this is a massive game. And it's Inter Milan in the Champions League straight after this one. Salo Ramos has definitely earned himself the start. He's going to start with Correa so that Griezmann is fit for the Champions League game. And you look at this starting 11. There's a few names you'd expect like Ansu Fati. But then they've got Luis Muriel up top. Domenico Berardi, we already knew about. He's very good, but it's just an all-round different-looking Barcelona team than what you'd expect. And the fact that they're still rocking a back two of Marcus Alonso and Stefan Savic at this stage of career mode is a little bit worrying, but Rafinha could come off the bench just like Lewandowski. I've caught up a little bit in the title race as well. Only two points behind us, so victory here would be massive. One well, then Gonzalo Ramos. Play that one in behind. Can he chip the goalkeeper? It's not a bad attempt of a chip, but Testegan just getting his hands on it. Fingertips there from Testegan. After that great opportunity, they're going to find the ball behind and it ends up with Pedri. A great save from Oblak. Barcelona have come to play, that's for sure. Ansu Fati now on the football out wide. I do not like Ansu Fati being on the ball just because his footwork is undeniably brilliant. So is Berardi as he goes beyond his man. Can we manage to get a ball back here? If we do, there might be a bit of space for us. Oblak saves it. De Jong gets the rebound. 1-0 Barcelona. Ray has been found and he's going to slide that one in behind now to Arno Martinez. There's a good ball in. I know. That is an unbelievable save from Testegan. Mikel Marino looked like he was set to celebrate the goal, but we're putting the pressure on straight after they scored. Can we find a way through here? That's not a bad ball in. It bounced back everywhere. I think there was a hand. Dalla Ramos now. Out wide to Grimaldo. Grimaldo's touch back. Horrendous. Moreno has been found here. Can he slide a ball into Gonzalo Ramos? He can. Ramos then back out to Mikel Moreno. Get that one out to Jeremy Pino. Try and whip it in. We know Gonzalo Ramos has got a decent header after that last match. We just couldn't find the right ball. That is a good ball in. And again, we can't win a header from these corners. Dangerous free kick position. Can I do anything here with Yannick Carrasco? I'm going to hit it with quite a bit of power. Hopefully get it bent around the wall. But it's straight into the goalkeeper's arms. Not the first half we would have wanted. Barcelona have the lead at half time. Been a really even game in terms of shots. But so far, we've just not taken our opportunities. Jeremy Pino is going to slide a great ball in behind here to Angel Correa. This is a massive moment. Ramos. Oh, that was the wrong choice. That just was the wrong choice. We should have taken the shot. I just wasn't confident with the saves that Testegan's making today. Correa now slides that one in behind to Jeremy Pino. Jeremy Pino wants Gonzalo Ramos. He's going to get him. He can win the header, but the header is straight at Testegan. We should be back in this game. And Sufati now plays in Pedri. Great shot, great save. Lewandowski coming on now for Barcelona. And there is not much time left in this game if we're going to save it. Jeremy Pino is going to have a lot of space to run into here, though. And oh, my God. They've run into each other. The Barcelona defenders have run into each other. This time I'm going to go for it. And to Stegen again. He's just been unbelievable in goal. Barcelona twisting and weaving their way forward. Laporte saves me. There's not much time left on the clock. Can we manage to find anything? It doesn't feel like we are going to do. Berardi will loft that one in. Oblak will take it. What can we do now with the breakaway? It's Rodrigo to pull the substitute. Still Rodrigo to pull the substitute. Still Rodrigo to pull the substitute. This might be the moment. Rodrigo to pull the substitute. Has to score it. And again, I just can't find a way past to Stegen. He's just been unbelievably difficult to deal with. It's been infuriating. And that is the reason why we haven't scored against Barcelona. It's going to take something absolutely ridiculous to manage to find the back of the net. Oh, I thought that was going to Griezmann. Kuna did nothing. Barcelona leapfrog us in the league then as they take a victory 1-0 here. And in my mind, he's just down to Ter Stegen being unbelievable in goal. He absolutely saved Barcelona in that game. In Milan next then in the Champions League. We're going to play the highlights for this one at least. They're slowly becoming our arch rivals in this league, so I want a victory. Any result in this game that yields points does guarantee us top spot in the Champions League. And by the looks of it, we're going to start off the game on fire. Yannick Carrasco holds it up 
Wait, beautiful. Correa, oh, he's never going to beat Saliba. We could push the ball back in and back forward. And we do just that. Correa again. This time he will make it 1-0 Atletico Madrid. The man I hated at the start of the game has been unbelievable, but it's not over yet. It's going to be an Inter Milan penalty. Letaro Martinez steps up. He is extremely dangerous. I am going to go to my left, and he puts it in the right bottom corner. We have to remember that Inter Milan in this game are fighting for their lives in this competition. We would basically be knocking them out if we beat them here. I thought Yannick Carrasco had played a great ball into Correa, but it wasn't to be. Since they're fighting for their lives, they are going to play like they're fighting for their lives. They're piling forward now. That's a great ball back across. Letaro makes it 2-1 Inter. That was poor defending from Atletico Madrid, but we're going to have an attack now can we get ourselves back into this one Griezmann out wide to Correa oh, what a save from Andre Anana we can inter cap off a great performance now by making it 4-1 can we get an opportunity to get ourselves back into it by making it 2-2. Point really letting us finish top of the league would be unbelievable. But we don't get the opportunity. It's going to finish 2-1. Inter Milan still have life in this group. We do bounce back with a victory though against Celta Vigo. A 2-1 result. Correa and Kuna with the goals. Which sees us third in the league. Only a point behind Barcelona and Valencia. And well in the title race cadets have started to fall off but Real Madrid have started to pick up the pace. And as you can see if Inter Milan win and we beat Stad Rene's they will go through to the next round of the Champions League. Yeah, I'm going to play the highlights though for this Stad Rene game. Let's see if we can top the group in style. We are already through at this current stage in time and basically topping the group unless Stad Rene beat us by a lot of goals thanks to that Galatasaray result. We are rotated so you never know what's going to happen and if Stad Rene win, that does knock out Inter Milan. They still have to beat Galatasaray though who are having a good season. We're going to kick this off with a solo run. We did start the game against Inter with a goal. Can we start the game against Stad Rene with a goal? We might do. Gonzalo Ramos, I expect to score, and he makes it 1-0 Atletico. The free kick for Stad Rene to try and help them get back into this match. Hopefully, we can just clear this one comfortably, and we do just that. They're really fighting for it because they have a crossing opportunity now, and we're going to block that off into the second half, and finally an opportunity for ourselves to try and get something out of this game. That's a good ball into Mateus Kuna, who we've not seen much of this season, but does have good footwork. Lamar then into Gonzalo Ramos. Good touch, good shot, great save. Well, they ping the ball over the top and no flag's gone up. And I am not sure why no flag's gone up. And Grimaldo makes an unreal tackle, but gives away a penalty. I thought it was a good tackle. It wasn't to be. It's going to be a penalty. And it's not only just missed by Oblak. That Rene breathes some life into this. But it is going to be an opportunity for us to get a goal back. And Jeremy whips it in. It's a good ball in. Oh, it's terrible. But with not much time left, can we manage to find a victory here? I don't want to be losing these kind of games. Okay. Plays that one up to Gonzalo Ramos. Ramos then over to Mateus Kuna. Beautiful touch, beautiful goal. That was fantastic play between the two youngsters up top. That was fantastic play between the two youngsters up top. And Mateus Kuna finds himself on the score sheet. But it doesn't look like there's going to be any chances left then, does it, for Stad Rene? As it will be an Atletico Madrid counter-attack. It's going to be a good ball over the top to Mateus Kuna. It's going to be a pretty hefty touch, but he's going to play that across to Ramos. And Ramos, oh my God, <laughs> it was a top in. And I might have been wrong because with just moments left, they are going to have an opportunity. And I mean, Guri is scary to me. Why he is scary as well. Guri, great block. Oh my God, we're going to get away with a victory. That's so unlucky for Stad Rene. It looks like they'll be knocked out of the Champions League. Well, I can't quite believe it, but Inter Milan drew with Galatasaray. So Stad Rene are going to go through to the next round of the Champions League. We topped the group comfortably with only one defeat. But Inter Milan have had an absolute shocker, especially considering how good their squad is. Who knows, in the January transfer window, we might go in there and take some of those players. It was also sooner up next though in the league, and Mikel Moreno making it 1-0 the victory and that sees us sat second in the league as things stand but it is super tight and we take on Real Madrid next time round if they beat us they will leapfrog us it's a similar situation in that game as it was for the Barcelona game but the treble is still on lads and the January transfer window will open up in the next episode and we will see who we face in the next round of the Champions League appreciate you all thank you very much for watching if you're new around here please smash that subscribe button much love and I'll see you for the next one